She has a kid. She has a what? husband. Yeah! Hey. Man, 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 yeah, man, man, hey. man, 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 man. Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in, her babies. To another episode of the A-Rabs podcast. Slay Queen. Oh, Slay. No, Slay. <laughs> Slay Queen is coming back hard. I want to add it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, pod man. updates. Week four. Started off shit again. We did it, baby. We did it. And we have A the longest month. streak of bullshit what, happening. It. No, there you go. Uh, Scootish's camera broke. Out of <laughs> this time Scootish's nowhere. camera broke, yeah. which is so upsetting. Scootish's camera broke. A $2,000 camera went down and a... Uh, Seven hundred dollar board went down today, so we're about three grand down on this. Episode. We're like, we're way more than that in the hole right now. I think <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not. I don't, I don't want to get into too much shop, but I think this podcast has now cost us near ten thousand dollars. I'm not, I'm not fucked around. If we have, wow, added, you know, yeah, it has, and it's crazy that I didn't spend a fucking penny, and we made zero. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. So please, yeah, hey, buddy, when that Patreon comes out, please. It is, it is. Uh, but uh, so yeah. There oh, you go. This uh, this week, uh, there's big, big, like big news. Mm -hmm. Every week we're like looking for news, but there's big news. The biggest news is uh, Nicki Minaj is currently right now going crazy on Twitter, and I'm watching it, and I just want to know, because Frogan's like, I'll educate you during the pod. I was like, I want to know what's going on, because it's been like, I feel like I'm watching someone on drugs. Like, I'm, I'm watching someone on drugs. Like, yeah. And, and with all due respect, you know, I saw someone on Twitter that are like, hey, girl. I, you know, I know what kind of nose candy you're on, blah, blah. And like, I've been to there. you. No, they were like talking to Nicki Minaj. They what were, kind of nose candy? The, like star Starburst? Illegal. Illegal. <laughs> Illegal You know what I'm saying, right, Fro? Illegal ones. <laughs> Illegal ones. So what's going on, Fro? So a couple days ago, so on Twitter, not on Twitter, on TikTok, there are these mm -hmm. accounts called Blind Items where they're like celebrity gossip pages where they'll uh, talk about submitted Celebrity gossip. So a lot of them are about like Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey. But the one that went viral was about Nicki Minaj. And it was basically so she's going on tour soon. And they said that she needs to go to rehab before she goes on tour because she has a drug addiction. Yeah, that makes and, sense. And uh, okay. Yeah, they said that what she's kind of drugs? cocaine. Ah! Yeah. I told you. So whenever <laughs> that went viral on TikTok, she went batshit crazy on every single like, uh, T page that was reposting it and talking about it. Uh, she was commenting like shit, like, oh, like, who do you think you are? Like, uh, I'm like more famous than you. You're ugly. And DMing people like cryptic shit. Hell yeah, that's my queen like, right there. <laughs> I'm more famous than you is literally how you know you're winning an argument. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> and then my, I'm my queen. And honestly. then another girl, she posted a TikTok. It was like innocent. She's like, I don't think Nicki Minaj realizes she's Nicki Minaj. And then Nicki commented, uh, and who are you? You're nobody. <laughs> whenever you like, like, whenever you find out who you are, like, come back or don't make me come back here. Like, she's just going after people. Okay, so that was like strike one with Nicki Minaj. Mm. Uh, so people were already coming at her for that because it was rumored she's on cocaine and she mm -hmm. needs rehab before she tours. Then Megan The Stallion released her diss track uh, uh, called "Hiss" on Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not entirely sure if it was directed at Nicki Minaj the entire track. It's basically like, fuck you bitches. Like you guys have your name in my mouth 24 seven. Like you live rent free. But the line that triggered Nicki Minaj is going to make you fucking die. What's the okay? line? Uh, do you do nose candy? No, it was <laughs> like, it, it's something on the lines of like, these hoes aren't thinking about Megan. They're worried about Megan's law. That's a horrible lyric. Yeah, that's kind she of just ran Megan with Megan. This, uh, oh, oh, she's, she's Megan. Okay, but the Megan's Law. Uh huh. What's Megan's Law? It's a, dude. It's a website for for bad people. Got you. I explain understand. it. Explain it to the people. Explain oh, it to me. I don't. Why do I have to do? Because this? You, you were starting to explain it to me, but then you got polite. Megan's Law is a web. Just like Megan's Law is a web. Megan's Law is a website for people who do bad but things, bad to, things. Ch to children. Oh, got you. Okay, great. And then they understood. put them on a registry. I understood. I understood. Okay, yeah. yeah understood. So it's basically. Blood. Like you're required and to there it is. register. <laughs> no, there because it is. <laughs> listen, I'm sorry. The, the communications in me came out because you had to define things in plain term. In America, you know, the reading level is fifth grade. 
Why'd you really? talk to America? Why'd you talk to America? Yeah, America. America. yeah. Get your fucking money up. Listen, no, see, <laughs> all the money that could be funding the education systems in America are going to Israel. But besides the point, so you have to define it. So basically, it's the requirement to register as a what? Um, so it's public information. Yeah. The reason why Nicki Makes Minaj sense. got mad is because her brother is a what? Oh, what? And her husband is a what? Like her current husband? Yes. Yeah. So I'm not. I, I'm going to be honest. When I heard boom, boom, bass, it changed my life. <laughs> Good. For the better. Okay. It, for the better. Good. As but it then, should. It's a great slow, song. Slowly, slowly, like, I just forgot about Nicki Minaj. I was like, uh, that's, yeah, Nicki Minaj. Great, great artist. She has that iconic line that speaks to all of us. And I realized, why did I, what's the iconic line? Boom, boom, I am bass? not Jasmine. I am Aladdin. And that's how I felt my whole life. You, hold on, hold on. In your, in your, in your life. Yeah. You thought <laughs> I am Aladdin. No, not no, 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 no. Were were people telling you that you were Jasmine? What does that mean? She's the princess. You know, Aladdin's a little poor kid. Yeah. So you were the little poor kid the whole time. I've always been poor. <laughs> wait, wait. Is this the argument we're having? No, I don't understand how. Do you want me to talk about my finances right now? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm saying that I am not Jasmine. I am Aladdin. I don't give a shit, dude. Do you remember the rest of those lyrics? Okay, keep. Okay. Can't find the force. Wait, I have a question about the drama channel. Okay, on TikTok. Is it like you randomly submit some tea that's fake? Like you could like I could submit tea about you, but like I mm -hmm. hear Frogan has green hair. Yeah. Don't <laughs> wink at me. Why did you wink at me? <laughs> we're gonna do it. No, we're not gonna but. do it. I'm not beefing with Frogan anymore. It doesn't end well for me. <laughs> I wanna really Why? Just... It doesn't end well because I'm always in the wrong and you're always right. Do you mean that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes i do no here's the thing raf and i never fight what about me and you we fight all the time yeah, yeah. capri and i they beef. world war three up in this bitch yeah mm, okay. it's because you know why though it's because you're not jasmine you're a you're, you're aladdin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's because you're not jasmine you're I'm also the aladdin i'm the genie you are you're i'm more you're like the, the genie, genie. Dude. You're more like Abu. Let's be fucking. I'm not honest. the fucking monkey. You're the monkey, dude. I'm not the monkey. You're a fucking monkey. I'm not the monkey. You're There's the monkey. no in situ. I would probably be the Abu. parrot. No, I'm Abu. not Abu. I'm not Abu. Abu is also dad in Arabic. Just Abu. Anyways. Anyways, lately I feel like he wants me to be mad at him for some reason. You think I want this? Yeah. I think I crave this. Not do I crave it? You do, but not to deviate. What do you mean I do? I, yeah, dude. I want to know about the Nicki Minaj stuff, and I don't want to care about your demons. You have a lot of demons, dude. You you crave a lot of demons. You know who has a great song about demons? Who? Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Does she dungeon actually, Dragon. Does dude. she really have a song? Rah, rah, like a Dungeon Dragon. <laughs> okay. Those so, are my demons. Uh, so it's like, websites like Dumois. Like, so basically, it, it's all celebrity gossip bullshit. Dumois. Is that Dumois. like French? Dumois. Yeah. yeah Dumois. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. Dumois. So a lot I'm of going it is to kill you. I'm <laughs> going to kill you for real. I know too much. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it is like industry people reporting it. Uh, uh, shit, other people see paparazzi. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. So she's on drugs. She goes on Twitter. She's fighting with people on Twitter. Yes. Yes. But then she. Uh, this is where I saw. This is where I came in. This is where my knowledge began. I, and on my Twitter feed, it's see her and Ben Shapiro going back and forth. You're like you're jumping the gun right now. Oh, okay. I don't want to jump the gun. I want to jump behind. You're jumping the gun. We're not even at the starting line, honey. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So when she heard the Megan's Law line, yeah, she lost her shit. What did she do? She started going rogue on Megan, like tweeting, like, "Oh, like you got shot in the foot. You're a tall bitch." <laughs> <laughs> what? I love her so Dude, much. And then she went live and she started talking about her dead mom. Oh my about God. Megan's dead mom? Yeah, and everyone was like, this is literally like coke rage. And then you see tweets making fun of Nicki Minaj going like her drug dealers logging on, seeing another coke rage happening. <laughs> but now today, uh, Sunday, she is releasing a diss track towards Megan. It was supposed to come out 3 p.m. our time, but she pushed it to 9 p.m. our time. Oh, how I know I'm bummed about that, uh, dude. A, like a drug induced diss track is gonna be fire, you know. Like I'm a, I'm a fucking sniff you up. I'm a fucking eat you up. Wait, hold on, hold on. You're I'm doing a, a rap. Sniff. Hold on, you're doing a rap about drugs. I don't <laughs> think it's a rap about drugs. I yeah. think what you meant. No, to, meant I'm a, I'm a sniff Megan. 
No, a- you, no, 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 she's not going to sniff. I don't think she's, she's going to sniff Megan. It's the drugs and the diss. You smell bad. I would never I think do you drugs mean smoke. off. I would never do drugs off you. Do you mean smoke? Like I'm going to smoke I'm Megan? I'm going to smoke, sniff. It's not. Okay, so she's going to drop. She's, gonna- <laughs> she's dropping a diss track in a couple hours. But my favorite part about this entire drama has been people on TikTok writing their own verses of pretending oh, to be vegan, is. dissing Nicki Minaj. And did she be- did she believe him? No, no, it's just oh, that it's just they're like, if I was making this, is how I would have uh, smoked Nicki <laughs> that's Minaj. Actually, is it like a whole trend now? Yes, it's that's so funny. fucking funny. That's I'm, pretty funny. I'm, I haven't been on TikTok in a minute. I feel like I'm, I'm missing out on this. So people are nobody's on Nicki Minaj's side except her fan base. Uh, they're, they're pretty. Who's your fan base? The I forgot what the the Barbies, the Barbs, the Barbs. Barbs. They're pretty crazy. They went after Hassan like, or a couple years ago. Oh, did they? Yeah, Why? Hassan and Nicki Minaj got in a fight. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> That's some lore I didn't know existed. Was it like a COVID thing? Yes. Yeah, that makes oh. sense. So yeah. she, she was t- she was like violating all that yeah, shit. Yeah, she tweeted that somebody she knew like the COVID vaccine made their balls bigger. Facts. I remember this, yeah. dude. I remember this shit. She was like, yo, someone got the vaccine and their balls got bigger. I was like, dab me up. You know? <laughs> what if it misses the balls? It just hits the shaft. <laughs> and then Hassan-, <laughs> <laughs> Hassan and her started going back I and forth. I got four because of Nicki Minaj. I just, I'm sorry, sorry. No, like Frank. Hassan and her started going back and forth about it. And like the barbs <laughs> went crazy on him. Uh, but yeah. I feel like I need a fan base that goes crazy, like Nicki Minaj's fan base. Like we should call. Well, we got the babies. We gotta go. Cra- we'll go crazy on Nicki Minaj. We'll do it. Yeah, let's start. Right- I mean, We're starting our even, own cult even right talking now. about it right now and like criticizing her is risky. Really? Are we criticizing? Yeah. I love her. Yeah, I think. I, 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 I think. I think the insults are the funniest thing to me. I'm uh, not in that world, so I don't care either way. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I do not care. I, I I could not care less. You got shot in the foot. You're a tall bitch. It's crazy. Like no, she just she was like doing low blows. Like everyone's like, oh, she's acting like it's insulting to be tall. But like she's also 41 years old, acting like this to a 28 year old. Dude, she's 41. Yes. I did not know she was 41. She's 41 years old. I thought she was old. like 70. That's too old to be doing drugs. I think at 40, you, people just go, hey man, I can't sell these two. You're just you've you've hit the limit. Yeah, you think you think the ethics of drug dealers should be a lot uh, of drug dealers are ethics. <laughs> and, and so Cardi B and Nicki Minaj have beef, okay? They've Cardi had, B's in this shit. Like who is that? Beef? Bro, this feels they've like been, the, this feels like the MCU. Here's the, thing. <laughs> so, the reason why they have beef is because any single time like a new like woman rapper comes along, Nicki Minaj feels threatened. Yeah, you know, because like they're gonna replace her, you know. Right. And then I think the last I don't know if this tweet was true or not, but Cardi B tweeted like in December of uh, 2023, they're like, "Bitch, when you go take your husband to a." A uh, park and leave my name out of your fucking mouth because he can't go to a park. He's a fucking oh, bro. Is <laughs> Wait, it... is that tweet still up? I think so. I saw it today. Giraffe, uh, so maybe you should link. That I'm not sure if here. it's. I'm not. I saw like a screenshot of it. I'm not sure if she actually tweeted it, but if she did, it'd be funny. Uh, but yeah, they've had beef forever. Like I think her and Cardi like physically, fought, or tried physically fighting before or something. Cardi and Nikki. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm so out of the loop. I just like the music. Yeah, I know. But yeah, I, she I, has, I'm in it for the music. She yeah. has beef with every... like, <laughs> 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 I don't care about... I'm just in it for the I'm music. I'm in it for the fucking beats. Dude, dog. I really like... I mean, if the music gets better because of the drugs, just keep doing them. I need, to, I need some new music, to be honest, but keep going. No, listen. So basically, she beefs with all the girlies mm-hmm. that are like up and coming. Mm-hmm. So her and Megan actually collabed. A long time ago, a few years ago, mm-hmm. um, and now they're beefing, and now I'm waiting for her to start beefing with Ice Spice. Ooh, I think Ice Spice is the one that like you know like how like the Godzilla movies that we we would we would like to see today. You know how Moth don't say we, don't Capri- say we. Capri- Capri- told us he doesn't want to come we. with us. I, I don't feel. Don't good. say we. I'm putting no. Out- don't say we because I said let's go see this, and you said I don't feel good. I'm sweating through this right He's now. He's like a typical. Why are you wearing? A yeah, he put a sweater. I'm on. not gonna. Because I'm not I'm gonna sick. fight you. I'm not gonna fight you. I'm sick. You're Nobody weak. Even you're asked. weak. I'm not. I am weak. You're weak and you're f- you're feeble. Listen, I'm not yeah. feeble. What's you're feeble. feeble. Sounds weird. You're men, feeble. <laughs> whenever Hold men on. are, si- what? I just want to let you know. Respect that, men. I just want to let you know that there's three of us in here now. Yeah. So I just want to let you know you can say what you're gonna say, but watch your step. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Otherwise, dude. I'm gonna write a diss track about you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do it. Yeah. Women, oh, 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 oh. forehead, yeah. no yes. hair, no hair, <laughs> no hair. I don't care. Listen, no hair. If we're gonna be talking about foreheads, yeah, mine's only three fucking fingers. Okay. Three fingers, yeah. Normal, too pore, small. Blind. Don't have enough room for a big brain. Uh, no serotonin, big tits. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I thought it's supposed to be a diss track, though. Yeah, dude, we oh, we are true, just true, you true. fucking true. idiot. Dude. Big tits, yeah. not happy. That was that's a hook. Depression. That's a hook. Depression. Depression. <laughs> Depression. 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 Oppression. Oppression. Yes. Milky, milky, milky. Let me make you a suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah. Whenever men are sick, they act like they're fucking dying. Because we are. Dude, you you know that you, women oh have Oh my god, a you know, let me tell you why. Let me pain. tell you why. Let me tell you why. Here it comes. She's oh lean. my god. She's lean. I'm She's out. annoyed. Because they want to be babied. I'm not being no. I, was, they? I don't want to be babied. Men. I just want you to respect <laughs> my sickness. <laughs> Men. Oh, little baby, would you like some soup? Whoa. That was actually really calming. That was <laughs> really yeah. calming. Yeah, can you do that? <laughs> yeah, I can't want soup. Yeah. Yeah, I would love some soup. If Dude, I'm not even a fan of hot liquids like that. I would soup. love some soup. Go get us some sco- soup. Oh, little baby, you want shabu? <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, sc- yeah. So you got Scooter excited. Scooter got excited. I, I did that on purpose. I hate Shabu. <laughs> okay. Here's here's the deal. Uh, I w- I just don't feel good. But I we, we need we, we need an I don't feel good counter of this podcast. <laughs> we get it. You're sick. Now toughen the fuck up. Talk to me in your mama voice again. <laughs> I. I understand you're sick. Please toughen up and do this fucking podcast. When we pitched the podcast, I felt great. When we about pitched that one. the podcast, I said three dudes. You know, and then you said, no, I would love to have a woman. I did say that, actually. If he had a man, you would have had this shirt on the podcast. Today. If I had a man on this podcast, <laughs> I, I think I'd probably I, murder someone. Yeah, I'm, I beg to differ. Right now, I'm listen. I could probably. You know what? I can give you the reality of the podcast without me. OK, what is. Oh, it? here we go. I could. This is a dream sequence. Put dream sequence music. Yeah. Editor, just like some dream sequence. What's this? Where are you going? This is this is episode two where Frogan has just left. Can you check on Miles? Real oh quick? my god! Oh uh, my god! Oh my god! So so here's the deal: women, men, 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 yeah, men, 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 men. Call, wait, wait, alpha, alpha, wait, alpha. Hold on, I have a really good bit. Okay, okay let me hear okay, it. Okay. Men don't get respect. Hold on, he's got to he's got to fix my clothes. Men don't get respected anymore. Yeah, they don't get respected. And why do you think that is? Because because men don't because get they respected. Keep, they keep telling women keep saying stuff to men. They keep saying yeah, and I don't understand their language. They, and why do you? They're not. You, men need to be men again. Men. Do you know what? <gasps> what, what I was <gasps> like when I was a kid. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 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 Okay, we oh, need, we need this. We need woman. <laughs> woman. Oh, and you wow. see? Whoa. I, I, Whoa. That was weird. I went to a weird really, place. I felt, went to a weird place it, there. He got really weird. I got, I got, it was weird. I went to a really weird place there. I ground you guys. I you became Abu we, lo- we, we love you on the pod. What's up? Yes. What are you looking for? Someone said Frogan's the little sister of the pod, and it was really sweet. Oh, shit. She's kicking. <laughs> I don't feel like, I don't feel like Frogan's the little sister of the pod. I feel like Frogan's, uh, the auntie who's gonna whoop me with a fucking. Leash. I'm the mother. Yeah, the mother. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, there we go. She's I'm the mother. Serving. She's okay. the mother. So is there anything else going no, no, on with no, like no, Nikki no, no. though? The Nikki because... Minaj, the so, Ben Shapiro. Take okay. Ben Shapiro. So then, Ben Shapiro released mm-hmm. a song with some fucking white supremacist Canadian rapper that loves America that always talks about oh like fuck fuck these libs because they had blm signs and rainbow flags but never put up the american flag anymore and then i don't know what the fuck happened but he got ben shapiro to feature on this song can i be honest yes. yeah american flag i love it i love america kind of boring kind of boring i think we could redo it kinda have boring. you seen the maryland flag no is it tight dude it slaps really? maryland slaps yeah it's colorful Oh shit! I don't really like the California flag. I think if we're gonna do a bear, have you seen the California flag? So I want to say something about this because it's just in my head. Every time I go down, uh, I think it's the 105. Yeah, there is a sign that says California Highway mm-hmm. or whatever, and it has you know it's like a blue sign. It or has whatever, the bear, and it has like the California yellow with the bear for yeah. the longest time. It's red. I thought it was a fetus. You thought the bear was a fetus. I thought the bear was a fetus. I didn't even see the bear. 
I was like, why do they have? Okay, a, now, why do now, they just have a fetus? Reimagine the California flag as a bear like this, like a sports team. Yeah, the California Grizzlies. Yeah. Oh! Okay, but anyways, why did we have? Why did we take the? Why did California take the L.A. Rams and not just change it to the L.A. Bears? Because oh, because there's Chicago, Chicago Bears. Bears. Yeah. yeah, sorry, they just okay, have never done so, anything. So yeah. we're talking about men stuff. Sorry, men, men, <laughs> men, 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 men. Uh, I hate us. Yeah, I know. I uh, so 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 the so the Ben Shapiro diss track. If you guys don't know who Ben Shapiro is, he's a political commentator. He's a he's a far right. Everybody political. knows who fucking Ben Shapiro is. He is literally. The male version of Kendall Jenner. Who's Kendall Jenner? Is that the one that crashed the car on the highway? Wait, which one's Kendall? <laughs> the mom? The model. The model, Kendall. Kendall Jenner. Ben oh. Shapiro is Kendall Jenner coded. Why is he Kendall Wait, really? Because yeah, he looks how? like her, kind of? Yeah. Oh, okay. He looks like he his sister. He kind of looks like her. You know Ben Shapiro? Uh, I th- Some of the stuff he... Okay, obviously he's, he's a piece of shit, right? Everything he says is insane. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, that dude is the biggest grifter. Like, even if you're like a right wing person, I don't understand how you don't know that the dude is full of shit. Like, he literally is just a big grifter. He's literally just the, 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 their company is like there's like numerous times that their company. Has well, come people out are going to believe in anything that, you know, aligns with their values. So if you yeah, pander to that, then you're that's success for you. Right? I feel so. like a lot of people become right wing because I feel like. Right wingers have a way of dumbing down information that makes it more digestible. Yeah. Whereas, like with like leftists, like it's really confusing and mm-hmm. theory based and all like really hard terms. So they're not going to give a fuck about like how uh, the only ethical or like fuck I forgot the thing. Capital. There's no ethical. Capital. There's no ethical consumption under capitalism. capitalism. Yeah. Who the fuck wants to even like process that? Like. I couldn't but even understand it. To be I didn't honest. know what you said. To be honest, there's I no such thing. I thought you were dissing me in Arabic. I thought, you said, I, thought you said, <laughs> I thought it was my turn to get the. Heat. I thought it was Arabic. Yeah, you're gonna get the heat. Oh, chill. So, so, so he releases a desert. diss track. He releases a diss track, and then Nicki Minaj responds like, "Your diss track is fire." Yeah, let me finish what I was saying. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So he has like a line in this. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I just love it when you shut him down. Yeah, you always shut me down when I'm actually asking you a question. Because you're jumping the gun. Well, I don't know the story in your head. Because you want to talk about a fucking grizzly bear on the fucking California flag going, Ugh! <laughs> you yeah. like, you Yo, it's sick when you, you remember it. it. <laughs> it's gotta die. I remember everything. Oh, dude, goddamn, dude. A beautiful mind over here, dude. She is a beautiful mind. Thank you. Yeah. So in one of those fucking lines of Ben Shapiro's song, he's like, he talks about how he has better flow than Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to listen to this song um, at the on the Patreon episode, the paywall of this. At the end of this episode, we're going to listen to the song because we can't listen to it on Capri YouTube. Capri hasn't listened to it yet. So and I haven't listened to it. So, so mm. he basically, Ben Shapiro tweeted Nicki Minaj like, oh yeah, look at, uh, I'm at, we're the, at the top of the charts. And then... Nikki replies back praising Ben Shapiro. He's like, "Oh, you got good flow, whatever." I feel like this. This okay. The That's reason, insane. The reason why we had this big discussion is that when I saw this, this is where I came in. All I think in my head is that when you start to slip as a creator or like an artist, you just smash that griff right button. Like you just become a right winger, no matter what. Yeah, you 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 live for the controversy. You know, you, you become go to like the other political, side. and you become like a right winger. Like yeah. that's what it is. It's like I feel like that's the thing. Is like, oh, I'm I'm falling off. Let's grip fucking right. Yeah, right. that's like what. Well, that's when I saw that I was like, okay, like this guy dissed you. You everyone who barely dissed you, you're going off. And I on. I wonder if it's like you know the artists themselves doing that, or if it's like within their management or. Or, or just within their company, they're like, hey, this is kind of what's working right now. You need to start moving this angle. Because it's hard to me for me to believe that like just the majority of famous people are just like alt right grifters on their own. I it's mean, just insane, when you get rich, right? at the end, when you get rich, like leftist ideology doesn't really support your richness. Yeah, yeah, that's always why I was. When never you get yeah. when you get rich, it's like oh, I'm just want to keep it. That's all they. That's mm-hmm. all people right, want to do. Right, right. So they it's like it's like it. oh, like. Uh yeah, I'm rich now, so uh, all that ideology is stupid. Yeah, and you guys could be like me. All you have to do is just make a famous song. It's yeah, like, you know, it's like I worked hard for this song. It's like, but yeah, she's basically <laughs> sucking off Ben Shapiro now, which is really fucking weird. And oh, then, my queen. And now everyone is basically like, all your fans are gay, and he's a homophobe. Like, 
yeah. what is going on. So the internet is shifting mm -hmm. against Nicki Minaj currently. Yeah, well, once you did that, that was wow. a big like, mm -hmm. oh, you're an, like you just cut off your own fan base. Oh yeah. boy. So we'll see. The distract. She literally is shitted out. on him. Dana, I remember Dana, when she popped Dana. off. It was she got to play at like the VMAs, and it was she was outside. And she played like boom boom bass, and I think it was like, and she opened for Lady Gaga or someone like that. She was always um, featured on a bunch of rappers' albums, primarily like Lil Wayne. I think who else at that time? Pretty much, I think she was with Young Money at the at the time. But she's been famous for like ten years, right? Longer, longer. longer really? No, she was doing. Like I'm telling you, she was doing. She was oh, doing shit. features for the longest time. Yeah. I think I remember her first seeing like videos of her first concerts. It was literally, it was quite literally, it was just maybe like one or two of like her actual songs that she made, but then a lot of the songs that she featured on. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember thinking, and this is no hate to Nicki Minaj on this front. I, I really don't care. But it, I remember thinking like, oh, wow, she's just singing all the her parts of her the songs she was on with other famous rappers who aren't even at this concert on tour with her. And I was like, I wonder where this is going to go. And it turns out it went pretty far i i mean the thing is like in my head you've had Roman. <laughs> you had like 10 years of your career 15 years of your career 20 years let's say okay time to end it you know end it on a high note don't go out on the grift she has a kid she has a Blood. husband oh fuck. That, one out. that one out again that one. yeah yeah that's second time we had to bleep that I'm one out i'm so sorry Edward. no that's all right yeah sorry giraffster <laughs> Blood. husband I don't even know if we could say that. Yeah, I don't know. If we Do could a say soft that. bleep on that one. Can you use my voice this time for the bleep? Bleep. <laughs> we want to be the main character so bad in in this, and I honestly, please, it's just somebody else talk for a second while I. But yeah, uh, I'm excited to hear what she has to say about Megan Thee Stallion have, having big ass feet and her being tall. <laughs> she had big feet. I mean. She probably has bigger feet than the average size because than the she's, average bear. She's tall. <laughs> Yo, bear. She's like, she's a... <laughs> ah, ah, do it. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah! <laughs> that's definitely going in the yeah, intro. That's going into the intro. <laughs> Bro, so dumb. <laughs> it's yeah. so good that you like it. It's like, where are you from? I'm from California. <laughs> like, what are Home you? Home of the bears. Um, <sighs> the bears. I think diss tracks are always fun. I feel like we haven't been getting a lot of diss tracks in this. In okay, this I have generation. a question. Would, would you guys be down to make one like for this pod, just for this channel? Like if we dissing had, each other. What do you want to do? Diss Dude, each other. We should get in some. We got in beef with Lebanon. We we solved that beef. We we solved the crisis. I do not want to beef Lebanon again. No, I don't want to beef with Lebanon again. I, <laughs> I it's my home. It's my we home are, country. Yeah, I know. I want to be able to go there. <laughs> we got to beef with Lebanon. Let's beef with someone else, and then we'll drop. Like, if we get to ten thousand subscribers, we'll do a diss track. You know, there's like, so. You want to farm beef? Let's farm. Let's honey, farm with someone. Honey, she's a vegetarian, and you want to farm beef? I want to farm. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I want to farm. That's fucking crazy, beef. dog. You're Tell your boyfriend. Dan -a, Dan -a, if he Dan -a, says he's got beef, that I'm, I'm a, a vegetarian, vegetarian and, and I'm I am fucking, fucking scared, scared of him. <laughs> okay, I, so it's okay. You this, can't get me started on singing. I'm gonna want to sing. Uh, okay. Okay. No, I have. I have tea. Okay. What's the tea? So a long time ago, I had beef with this band. Uh, was he, it with? Was it with? It was trying not to say look the at me, band. Look at me. Was it with Jack? Uh, cat? No, it was with Jack Bearcat. Jack Bearcat. <laughs> Jack Bearcat loved me. Okay, it was with Sleeping with Sirens lead, lead singer. He was Islamophobic to me uh, at a concert in 2015. Oh wow! Um, when I went to the concert, it was a day there was a like an ISIS stabbing at, in a concert in Italy at like a punk show. And then he gets on stage. I was front row. He like comes I remember, up. I don't remember hearing anything yeah, about Yeah, it that. was. Uh, what the fuck is like what, ISIS? Uh, it was in France or Italy or something. You said ISIS goes all the way to France. Oh, and no, no, no. They, they claimed it or some shit. Yeah, but it must have been France. So he like. That was us. It, so they were, so it, it happened like while we were at the concert. <laughs> sorry, sorry for so, so Keep going. I swear it's relevant. I swear it's relevant. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fully invested. So. That he like starts talking about it on stage and he comes up right in front of me. I was front. He's like, I don't think like any religion should promote violence. And I was like, bitch, like you're coming right in front of me and saying talking this shit. And then I was 18 years old at the time, so I felt some type of way. I was really fucking mad. So then I tried calling him out on Twitter and I did. And then I fought him back and forth in DMs. He's like, you know what? 
I'm just gonna keep what I want to say into songs now. Um, I'm not gonna speak my voice on stage anymore. I'm just gonna use it in my music. Oh, um, oh and dude, I'm really sorry on. for him. And then he's like, "I love you," and I'm sorry. I'm like, "Bitch, I don't. I don't even like you." I was there for all time low. So the next year or two later, they release a song called "Gossip," and my friends are convinced that it's about me. I mean, you went in DMs with him. What is the <laughs> song? Can we, can we listen? Can we, we listen, listen to, to that song? on the Patreon? We don't have to listen to it right now. We'll listen on the Patreon. But I want to. I do want to hear it. Yeah, yes. read the, yeah. Read the lyrics. You never told us. I'm the actually. Story. Yeah, I've never heard the story. This, this is, is insane. insane. You. I feel like every other. Like every other week, you have a problem with a band or like a problem resurfaces with. She's the band. like, you know what she is? She's one of those fucking fans that's so obsessed with them that if they like step out of line a little bit, she'll be like, I'm gonna fuck your life up. And it's like, look at I did a big time rush. We need those fans. Yeah, we don't. We need the hub babies to be like. No, that. we do not. Need, I don't want any of you guys okay. to be like that. Don't do that. Hub babies. No, hub babies. Hub babies. So, so basically, like, so whenever I start that tweeting, is really funny. Whenever is, I start, hold say? on, hold on. I'm, I have to preface this even Scarf more. Scarf uh, so, on your head. <laughs> now she was in. She was only. DMs. She was only 14 with her funny hat in the front row. <laughs> 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 now listen, and so, I called her out, <laughs> and I said, "Hello, walk by." Now listen. <laughs> It it's a, so let me this this thing to preface it. So yeah. I I was tweeting about it. He didn't respond to me for days. But mm-hmm. at the after I tweeted about it, the next day on stage he's like, "Don't like, don't believe the lies on the internet about what's happening." Blah blah blah. I had a fucking video, so I tweeted the video whenever I heard he said that. So the chorus of the song. Video look into look in, look into my eyes. Tell me what do you see. Don't believe the lies that you've heard about me, about me, about me, about me. I, I like I like the song. You gotta keep going. But yeah. This is, no, keep going. This is insane. No, keep going. Uh, he's like, uh. Also, what kind of bullshit 2001 lyric is yeah, that and first it, so, lyric? Like, I'll drive you. So people, my friends are so convinced that the song is about me. Wait, but based off that? Based off of yeah that thing, uh, oh I thought he was gonna like call you out, call you out. Uh, What's it like, like? The whole song is called Gossip. Four like- foot five, <laughs> <laughs> and I can barely see you Hold in on. the crowd. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. Tight dress. You can't, you can't. We're gonna get demonetized. Don't play it. We'll have just to mute play it. The- just mute it. Okay, play it. It's so funny. Oh fuck. Okay, I'm just f- play it and mute it. Well, if you're if you're on the Patreon, we'll do unmute it on the Patreon. Yeah. Okay. All right. I na- why is he jacking off in the why is he jacking off in the song? Why is he beating his meat in the song, dude? This sucks. Wasn't I on beat with it? Okay. Yeah, all right. I don't think it's about you. I don't think it's about I you. I think it's about him. I don't think you should believe the lies you've heard about him. <laughs> about you, that you're telling me but about he him. Said I, there's too so many lies happening. I mean, there's a lot of lies happening. I'm going to write a diss track. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. That's why I said allegedly about me. Like, I didn't believe it, but it's, like, funny to think. It's insane. It's funny. I really hope if you did write that song about her and we somehow get famous from this pod and you're watching right now, please comment down below that you Kellen Quinn, I still fucking hate you. I'm sure you've changed. It's been eight years at this point. What what year was this that you got into the drama, the Islamophobia shit? Twenty fifteen with him. Yeah, that's too old to be Islamophobic. That's too that's too like what do you mean it's too old to be Islamophobic? It's too like after like the war on terror. Like two thousand six, if you're Islamophobic, you're still kind of in it. You're like, I don't know what these these fucking people are like why are they all why do they look like the people from uh star wars and they're coming right. after us you know but like 2015 it's like you've had 10 years to realize that the war on terror Bro. was bullshit you know the amount of islamophobia i faced like being in like the emo scene mm-hmm. has been crazy can i say something well, actually about this podcast yeah yeah the amount of islamophobia we've had just from this fucking podcast is so annoying to me like i'm constantly responding to people talking shit to them on why? this pod because i think it's funny and i always just call them all right, assholes. dude. All right, yeah. I just think it's I'll funny. It. But like, literally, like we literally make a pod, and it has nothing. We'll, we'll do a clip, and there's nothing to do with 
with Islam at all, and then they'll be like just spouting off like racist shit. <clears throat> and it's just like, what, what does that have to do with why are you saying that? It's just because fucking Frogan's in the hijab. It's wild. True. You know? Yeah. That's wild. I lived a life as a teenager. Yeah, you got a, You had a diss track written about you. That's crazy. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. I want to be famous enough to where somebody writes a diss track. Dude, I'll write a diss track imagine about writing you. A, imagine allegedly writing a diss track about an 18-year-old, though. Isn't that what most of them are about? <laughs> isn't that what most <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, they're all about Isn't that what most <laughs> Midwestern emo and just emo songs yeah. just in general are kind of yeah, about? You, yeah, like, you were only 16. You know that song? Met a girl at 70. Okay, I'm See? not going to lie. I was literally listening to Sleep with Sirens today in the car. Were you? I was. Is that the band? Yes. I, no, I zoned out. I, I, I zoned out when I drive. I don't even I don't, know. I don't Sometimes even... I just like remember. No. I listen to Silence when I drive. But emo was on You're the rise. You're insane. You're psychotic. You still listening to the just sound of your own sh- thoughts? Sh- I'm trying to drive. I don't like this beat. And also, how do you, why do you drive like you're jacking off like a sideways giant? I mean, he uses his shiv. I need you to say that one more time. He uses his shiv What's he made. Shiv? His like, wooden shiv? shiv, the his thing. It's not a shiv. It's an anxiety tool. Oh, you mean because he's like mm-hmm. rubbing it? I'm not rubbing shiv. it. I'm knocking on it. Shiv. Gotcha. For the listeners at home, I have a little anxiety toy, okay? And it, it cures my anxiety. And, I, and I, it's not. It's you, what he did was he broke a perfectly fine <laughs> brush. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he I broke took, a brush in half and took the handle and rubbed it down to the nub. I didn't rub it with my hands. This is what happened. Okay, I I I have a thing where if like if I have an intrusive thought, it helps me if I just knock on wood. I may have OCD. <laughs> okay, so I was like, I don't have wood in my car, so if I'm driving and I'm really having anxiety for some reason, I want to have something to knock on. So I saw that I have an old ass brush in my shower that's supposed to be for my feet. But I'm never using it to, to do my feet because that's what am I going to do? Brush the bottom of my feet? What's what's stuck there? Okay, gum. There's no gum on the. Well, you bottom. don't wash the bottom of your feet. I do wash it, but I don't. I don't brush it <laughs> no, like. Wait, hold on. <laughs> no, I do. No, Man, hold this on. is like the white pause. People. Pause. I wash the bottom of my feet. I don't brush it I like a I'm a sperm whale. Do you wash your legs? Yes. No. Do you wash your legs? Yes, I do. Or do I you t- wash the you front? I have your a legs. loofah now. I'm a. Old, I'm a what do you mean now? <laughs> what do you mean now? I wash my. What do you mean you haven't been? Do you been? scrub your legs? Okay, because white people, uh, some of them, they're like the water runs down my legs anyways. I don't have to scrub them. No, 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 no. no. I wash my legs. Okay. I dead ass wash my legs, and I wash the bottom of my feet. But I had a brush. You're like the Mary you don't Magdalene. Wash your legs? No, do people not? No, no, I don't. Wash people don't. No, wash their everybody legs. washes their legs. We all wash our wash legs, legs here, right? Yeah. I wash, Say yes. I wash behind my legs and the fr- the front of my legs. Yes. yes. And you wash your legs? Yeah, of course. You wash your legs? Okay, I wash my legs. Now, here's the no, deal. But you said you got a loofah now. Uh, no, what no, 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 no. Beforehand? Hold on. Pause, pause. Let me, let me go through, okay? Let me finish, okay? <laughs> I just did a frozen. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Okay, do you have a brush that you brush the bottom of your feet yes. like it's a fucking tooth? Yeah, you get a pumice stone. No, she doesn't. She's not saying yes. How do you get smooth bottom feet? I don't need. What do I need? I need them hard. I need to walk on stone. The reason I'm I, a man. You, you go, you're doing the pilgrimage to Mecca. Is that what's going on? No, I'm not doing the pilgrimage to Mecca. I'm walk. Do you scrub it like a yes. fucking a sperm whale? You have yeah. little. What do you mean like a sperm whale? What do you, what's your obsession with sperm whales? Like today? The, the, the teeth they have. You use their teeth to brush your feet. No. Oh, the like they're like. I they're... take my loofah and I do my feet. <gasps> what was that? Do you scrub the bottom of your feet just there in that, yeah, in that example? Yeah. Oh, so you do wash the bottom of your feet. Yeah, but not with the brush. I don't need the brush to wash my feet. Well, you made it seem like you don't wash the bottom of your feet whatsoever. No, I do. Stank, dutty foot, but dog. I, I don't use a pumice stone. Can I tell you? Because you, have dirt, you need no, a pumice stone. No, I don't stone. use a pumice stone because of my feet and I'm too soft and I walk on something and it hurts. Well, that's not how it works, I, dude. No, I've, I've just been sitting here quiet because he accused me of not washing my feet. Bitch, I get pedicures, okay? That's not that's not the same as washing it your is. feet in the shower. It is. It, I wash my feet in the shower. How, many, how often do you get a pedicure? Once a day? Once a month. Okay, how often do you shower? Every day. Okay, so well, you're only on, washing your hands. You're not getting the back. Yeah, you're not getting the back. Okay. Hesitation. Okay. Hesitation. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Ladies. Hesitation was. I was differentiating between a hair shower well, and a body shower. No, 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 no. So every time you do, that's not. No, we were ah, asked, what, you have hairy not, bottom feet? Yeah. You got hairy feet? My brain, okay, there's two different <laughs> showers I take. I wash my I hair in one shower, hair but shower I also wash my body every day. When you take a body shower, that includes the yes, bottom of your fucking feet. I wash the bottom of my feet every, every with a, day. With a fucking brush, Frogan, with a fucking brush. I have a loofah. 
That's but, what I'm saying. I do the loofah. I don't do the whale brush. But I'll I'll also, but I get like the catalyst removal professionally done. Oh, I don't know why I was so excited about that. Like I that's no, because she, she almost made it sound like she doesn't wash her feet every day. That's how she made it. Sound. I think you're. I think, dude. I think you're bouncing. You're trying to push this on the frogan. You were the one who originally said you don't wash. Listen, I have sparkly toes right now. And let's see your big fucking yeah, toe, yeah, yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're gonna see it on the Patreon episode. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're gonna show no, you're not. On the you're Patreon. not. Wait, what? No. Yeah. What I see? Every yeah. the first t- Every- twenty tier two subscribers are gonna see Frogan's feet. Yeah. Yeah, not mine. Oh wait, you're putting your feet on. The- okay, never mind. Uh, anyways, uh, dude, I uh, your you- shiv. Oh, my shiv. So I, I took a, I took the little brush and then I cut a piece out of it and then I massaged it down. And I made it look like kind of like a like a sword from like the 1800s in Japan. Like just just the handle, and, and I put a little uh, orange thing around it. It's a little it's a little piece of wood that I knock on. It doesn't look anything like that. It looks like a piece of fucking shit wood, wood you grab from outside. From a you you should get Megan's lawn because the way no. the way you grabbed mulch from a child's playground is insane. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It looks like you just grabbed mulch. You were you hovering around the kids, and you're just like, oh, let me grab mulch. Let me grab mulch. Cut this. <laughs> Cut this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, you know, um, uh, uh, sexual harassment and stuff like that, did you guys do you guys see what happened to Vince McMahon this I've, week? I've been waiting all week for you to tell me this stuff because I wanted to. Be so fresh. also, I've been, you know, I've been. You've been waiting all week. I, this came out two days ago. It's been a long week. It's been a long <laughs> week. It's been a long Yo, week. Yo, I love wrestling. Do you? Bad Bunny's my favorite wrestler. Dude, honestly, I'm fuck honestly off. good. Okay. I'm honestly it's seriously. I'm yeah. Fu- yeah. yeah. No, but no, you can't. I can't deny it. it. Let me do it. Yeah. I can't deny it. I can't deny it. Yeah, you got to deny, deny it. That's my special interest. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> apparently, uh, so the WWE, which is the federation that Vince McMahon owns and heads, and he's the CEO of the WWE, you know, wrestling, worldwide entertainment, world world wrestling entertainment. Right? I mean, they called the WWF. I thought they were two different Well, ones. that's the World Wrestling Federation. No, no. But and they, then they split off, made the WWE. No, no, no. They got sued by the World Wildlife Federation. Wildlife Fund. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. They oh, got sued and they changed their name. So as a kid, I was like, I love the WWF. I don't like the WWE. And as a kid, I thought that they were two different things. Turns out they were the same thing. Oh shit, I didn't even realize yeah. that. No, yeah. they, they weren't. They were two different companies. They were for two a different long while. Yeah. And then Vince McMahon bought them. Mm-hmm. And then that then they were two. But they made they did change the name because of World Wildlife Fund. Well, they got absolved. They okay. literally they got right. they got taken up by yeah, Vince going, McMahon. I don't know. So Vince Someone McMahon, comment down below what the right so answer the is. So the WWE was coming into about like a two billion or two hundred billion or million dollar deal uh, with the WWE moving yeah. forward, and an ex employee or I think still was still a current employee came out about Vince McMahon saying that he was basically doing sexual harassment on her. Said that he would give her higher positions within the company. If he, she performed, quote unquote, sex acts to him, oh, fuck. Uh, she would came out to say that like he would like pass her around to other employees within that, and so this all like this one person, this one person, yeah. So she fired, and I'm sure, I'm sure many others, yeah. Um, uh, so she just so she came out to say like all of this stuff has been happening. Um, she released some text messages that I haven't been able to see yet. There's some rumors going around, and there are some, I'm not, uh, I'm some allegations that I have personally. I just haven't looked up, like followed up on yet. But apparently, there's one situation where, and this is disgusting, dude. There's one situation where he literally, like, I don't even know how to say this. It's just he literally put poopy in her hair. <laughs> human poopy in her hair and like did I can't horrible lie. physical acts to her how do people realize they have a scat fetish no I this can't. is actually a good segue no, into this because i have no idea where do you get yeah, where do you learn that like is it like from watching porn like you like stumble Dude, upon them like, porn because sometimes like if i think about it like yeah like when i'm doing it like i would love to be like boom 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 scatting my little scat 
You don't have a fetish for scatting? Dude, scatting during during would be fucking sick. Imagine you're just like, you're just like, and then I don't know where you hear. You know what? <laughs> Maybe I do hate you this week. I'm a scat man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, that's what you were talking about, right? But the, but the reality is, the reality is the severity. But how do you? The but, severity of the situation. <laughs> the se- <laughs> please. please. No, but it is no. But so this is going on, and apparently, you know, there she could be facing some sort of backlash as well because apparently she signed an NDA. And I don't know how NDA laws really work, but I think if you're committing a crime that absolves the NDA completely, it should, right? You can't, like, NDA crimes. Right, that's what I'm saying. You can't do anything in law that, like, does crimes. Right, so, I mean, there's nothing that's going to happen. I can't, because this just came out, I'm I'm, uh, waiting to see what other stuff comes out about this. The more allegations that have been happening... Well, the way he treats the wrestlers is already bad enough. So I'm friends with a few wrestlers, um, like a few professional wrestlers um, who are kind of, who are retired now. And I I don't want to name them just because I don't want to, Yeah, I don't want to be that guy who is like, (laughs) I'm friends with. And also I don't want, just in case like whoever somebody's watching this, I don't want, so they would always tell me just about how much of a fucking piece of shit he is and like how he's just a creep dude and like. He just all these. So there's already stories. like rumors about him. Yeah, being he's creep. not a good person. So for this, I'm honestly, I'm fucking, I'm stoked that he's finally out of the WWE. I think he did an amazing job with the organization itself. I oh, think it's an amazing him. dude. Wrestling's awesome. No, I, I get that, but the thing is, like, I've heard from. I mean, uh, are you gonna do wrestling? I'm sick. Ah! That's how wrestling that hurts. They wrestled you. I you fucking give me a brain hair. You think you can come to my house, brother, and talk over me? Yeah. I wrestled your ass. Well, I, I think I can. No, I, I can. <laughs> can be the worst no, well, he, I think he, I can. He would be that terrorist one that came on after 9 11. Oh, Sheik? The Iron. No, he was they always a there. terrorist one? The Iron Sheik was like... I'm going to make a wrestle to you. I'm going to finish inside. Oh, the Great Khalid? Dude, he has hands like the Great Khalid. I'm going to make a wrestle. He was the guy who would go around and he would just like crush people's heads and that was his signature move. Is it a racist one? Dude, a lot of these characters I'm going to make a boom to your head. (laughs) (laughs) Is that that not it? Uh, no. So, anyways, yeah, that's what's going on I, right now. I feel um, I feel bad to to joke about it because the severity of the the allegations are really fucking disgusting, and also the way uh, I I don't know about these allegations. You, you're you're telling me fresh, but also the way that um the way that he's treated wrestlers has been like people yeah. have died, people have legit died. Oh, one hundred percent. No medical assistance. Uh, they don't pay them anything. Like the mm-hmm. way he pays them, like literally fucking pennies Mm -hmm. overworks these people Mm -hmm. i mean there were so many stories of these wrestlers dying a wrestler's like age of like what was it they die uh a lot earlier Mm -hmm. um so i always thought that the people who did that sport are really admirable because like it's it's fake Mm -hmm. but it really ain't that fake amount they're putting their bodies at like crazy it's just it's just constant stunt work is what it is and so it's 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 like being stuntmen 24 7 it's a show yeah yeah stuntman show yeah no, they're fucking. They're awesome, dude. And some of the some of the greatest fucking actors of all time came from wrestling. Yeah, you know? The Rock, The Rock, John Cena, John, dude, John Stone Cena Cold fucks. Steve Austin. What? He's what? The, he never acted. Stone Cold Steve Austin did. What did he act in? Uh oh, that one where he's on an island. The con the contender. The you, contin- the contin- something like that. The Somebody Expendables. You, no, it wasn't the expend. Oh, he was. I think he was in the Expendables. Actually, yeah. was he? Yeah, I think he showed up in the Expendables. Chuck Norris did for sure. Dude, no, he still Uncle Steve Austin had his own movie. It was he was no, on an he island. Was in the Expendables. He was. Yeah. Do you want me to read off some movies he was? Yeah. In? Let me let me scoot. Thank you. Thank you. Let me hear uh, some of these movies. Recoil. They don't remember that one. Grown Ups Two. Grown Ups Two. Grown Ups Two is crazy. The Condemned. The Condemned is the one I was talking about. Uh, the Longest Yard, starring Adam Sandler. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in that one. Oh shit. See. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So they act. They act. Oh god, I love Stone Cold Steve Austin. Three sixteen. I thought you were gonna say. I thought you were gonna start singing. Three six nine. Damn, she's fine. Three sixty. What? What? But did he win an Oscar though? <laughs> you know, I like that. 
That's what he does. Do That's do what he does with the beer. Should I open the bottles and try it again? If for those listening at home, Raph just smashed two water bottles and trying to open up <laughs> fake beers. Uh, thinking of smashing things, I watched uh, I watched Glass Onion last night. Yeah. And in Glass Onion, the movie is heavily based around. I don't want to spoil it for anyone, so if you don't want to hear it, it, it's not really a spoiler. But in the movie, the Mona Lisa shows up in the movie a lot. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was watching it last night, and the dudes like in the movies, like, "Oh my god, it's such an amazing painting!" And all I could think in my head was like, "This painting kind of sucks." <laughs> <laughs> it's just one person. If we didn't have the painting, though, we wouldn't have the Panic at the Disco song. What is the Panic at the Disco? Whoa, Mona Lisa, Lisa. you guarantee to. I sort of got. This I, you know what? Fuck the podcast. But after today, we're just gonna start a fucking band because Frogan's saying every goddamn song. I think we're so. I think we're delusional right now. Frogan's just like we should start an emo band. You know, Slay. We should call them Slay Emo Queens. Okay, but anyways, so I watched the fucking movie last night, and I was like, the Mona Lisa sucks. I'm. It's just. It's not that good. It's not that tight. Okay. F- French people. Can I be toxic? Yeah. That bitch has no eyebrows. We need to like. We need to like. So I want to do like. <laughs> wait, what'd you say? She just insulted the way the Mona Lisa looks. What'd she said say? that bitch has no eyebrows. You wouldn't have any eyebrows too if you lived in that time. Yes, the fuck I would. Yes, the fuck you would. Yeah, you got the Arab eyebrows. Yeah, you, know, you got the Arab eyebrows. I got the. Arab I do eyebrows. got the Arab eyebrows. I have one eyebrow poking me in the eye right now. Uh, so I watched. I watched the Mona Lisa. And after that, I uh, I saw today on the news that uh, climate change activists threw soup at the Mona Lisa. Well, did that happen? When did that happen? Today, though? like th- yesterday or today, like dead ass. It just happened. like I don't like. I'm all for like re- I'm all for you know uh, uh, protesting and like doing things to like. Uh, just it doesn't matter. You yeah, know? I don't know. Sorry, it's just, it's just us. Yeah, we're sisters. We stand together. Uh, we're made of We one. are one big family. family. We don't, don't look, look the same. same. Our stripes are different. Different colors. Kill me. So He's I, so like, jealous. I know, because you don't even know these songs. <laughs> I know them all. I have no problem with people protesting or doing anything to kind of like raise awareness, but like stop defacing. Why? Beautiful. Why I just, not? I just. Because it upsets me. Why does I it just, upset you? I have a question, though. Because why? why? What does Mona Lisa What's have to do with do? global warming? Yeah. What did she do? She smiled and now it's hot? <laughs> Bro, she's like, no, she was special. She was like this. She's like. I, I, okay, so here, here's my thing. Why deface works of our history and of our of art? Because if the whole climate. Let me let me do a devil's advocate. Sure. Conversation. No, of course. If people care more about works of art uh-huh. than they do about the world. Right. And if the world. As they should. Goes to shit. Right. Then you're not gonna be able to sit there and look at a fucking painting of some lady, and enjoy it because the whole world's gonna go down. Right? Okay, yeah, but I'll but I'll be gone before that happens, dude. Yeah, but that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that the the Mona Lisa. Uh huh. I, I, I I'm I'm playing devil's advocate. Why do we care about a fucking painting when the whole world is going to shit? Can I play devil's advocate? Advocate. Does yeah. that mean you're on my side? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Why don't these protesters focus on Devil's people? Avocado, by the way, is what we're saying now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be Devil's Avocado. Why don't people that are protesting climate change and global warming focus on the people causing 78% of the pollution in the world, like corporations? Yeah, why don't they throw soup on, like, Apple? Yeah, like, why don't they tar- start targeting corporations that are actually contributing to the ozone why don't they just start, sometimes it feels performative why don't they start capitalistic warfare do you know do you know what it really is going yeah that'd be great <laughs> you know what really is going on in their heads what? They've, mm-hmm. they've they've cap the, the the system of capitalism has cucked them and has made us has the has fucked the climate right oh i'm but not done you're not done mm-hmm. okay why don't they focus on the meat industry too that's fine i think they're but trying what, to. what i'm saying is the system of capitalism has fucked the climate, and now what they're trying to do is get as many headlines playing in, into the game of capitalism to, to do something to the Mona Lisa, because they know that if they do that, then everyone's going to talk about it, like we're talking about it right now. But I feel like doing shit like it. that like, defaces their movement, though. I don't it know, but I think it, but I it think also, it's I also think it the makes, same thing like the Palestine stuff. It's like, oh, you can't protest in the right way. Uh, yeah, no, that's true. I, I, see what you're, I see where you're coming from. My thing is, is you know... It's not like uh, we defaced this and now everybody in the world is like, wow, they did this. They're so powerful. It's like, wow, they fucking did that. That's insane. Fuck the climate now. Just <laughs> and everyone in the world is just going to be so bitter about it. Well, that's what I'm they're saying. Like, you know what? I was cool about recycling. Not doing it anymore. Yeah, but like they're, they're, what's the other option? They go and throw soup at the front of Apple's gate or something. Or I don't like, know. They do something cool. Like- why don't they dig up Steve Jobs' body and deface that? 
That's an insane. Throw soup on his throw soup on his carcass. That's, that's insane. I think that would have a bigger movement. They're like, oh, you know what? He's they're right for that one. Do you think he's buried in a turtleneck? Yeah. Why don't they like target <laughs> something else outside of Mona Lisa? Like, why not like Van Gogh shit or something? I think they've tried. Why are you? They- they've tried. And also, what's your problem with Van Gogh? You were like, I hate Van Gogh last night. And Van Gogh, as you know, is one of my favorite painters of all time. What's your deal? You don't like Starry Night? I was doing it to bother you. No, you weren't. I was. No, you weren't. Bitch, well, I took I a like picture. I took a picture of Starry Night. Yeah, you tried Where to rub that in my face. At? Yeah. Where's I've that? seen it. Where's huh? it at? New York. It's in New York. It's ah, at the boring. I think it's at the Met. Boring. I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one of those paintings. I think it's at the MoMA or something. Is shit. that MoMA right know. now? It's, it's somewhere. They it's have at, a it's whole at the Van MoMA. Gogh. MoMA makes sense. I want to do a painting. Yeah, but I, I saw Starry Night. What was it like? It was it like was the night beautiful. sky. I was loved it, really, it. Yeah. It was really good. It was it, it felt iconic seeing it in person. Yeah. But yeah. I would never throw soup on it. Well, here here's here's why here's the, let's come back to reality. Here's why it's kind of stupid. It's like what the fuck did uh What kind of soup was it? Do we know? It didn't like look tomato like split bisque? pea. It looked like split pea. Ooh. Ew. It's it's it, the worst kind of soup. It's also soup. it's like it's also like these people like I get I What's the case? the guy who painted the Mona Lisa? He probably would agree. Who the, painted the Mona Lisa? The, that one guy. He was in da Assassin's Vinci? Creed. Da Vinci. Yeah, he was in da Assassin's Vinci? Creed. <laughs> <laughs> da Vinci. Da Vinci. <laughs> yeah, dude. He would probably he would be he'd be down. He'd be down for the cause. When you put it like that, yeah, I think you're right. Actually, he'd I take I rescind everything I said. My anger is resolved. You know, I think that I yeah. I don't know. I just don't know if there, what's the best way to protest climate change. You know. I honestly think that, like, the, the with the genocide happening, though, I think you should focus on this, stopping the people dying first, and then we'll fix the world. You know, do both. You could do both. You could protest two things. I'm going to let you keep rambling on about this. Maybe I don't know why. I don't know why I'm rambling. I'm t- I think that it's my brain's a little mushy today, okay? So we were talking about wrestling actors, and I was like, damn, you know, speaking of actors, the Oscars. Yes. Oscar nominations came out this last week, and people have been really fucking mad. Why are they mad? That uh, Greta Gerwig and Margot Robbie got snubbed in their respective categories as... You know, mm-hmm. is, be- is Best Actress, and then also, I think, Film director of the Year, or, or Best Director Do you really well. think Margot Robbie should have been Hold nominated? On. Dude, I would love for and, us to deep dive this. But he didn't watch it. But I didn't watch Barbie yet. At all. People are mad that uh, Ryan Gosling got nominated and Barbie and Greta didn't. But so, you know, the movie is basically about women empowerment and mm-hmm. then the patriarchy takes over mm-hmm. and then they take over again mm-hmm. and like coexist. Mm-hmm. That's the basis of the movie. But a lot of it is like kind of shutting down like the social norms of like patriarchy. Ooh. Yeah. Can I be patriarchy. Honest? I have a hot take that will get me canceled. I, I have you a take, what, I have a take too that I saw somebody say they're like, well, Ryan Gosling's character had the most like character development in the movie. And I was like, Oof. Can I be honest? Mm-hmm. I fucking hated Barbie. I, I thought people like I thought it was mid. It off. I thought well, it was there's a lot mid. of there's a lot of conflicting arguments and ideal ideas coming from the two of you. Okay, right okay, now. okay. Let's start with Frogan. It was what a, do you think? It was a good movie, but I, like people were like, Oh, I cried when I watched it. Oh, uh, it's so I didn't cry when I watched it. I was like, I chilled. I was like, oh, wow, like, this is a good movie. They made like a fascist joke, and I thought that was funny because I was like, oh, this is like random. Um, I was a Ryan Gosling hater before going in. I was like, this motherfucker is way too old to be playing Ken. If I had it the way I wanted, like, if we're picking old men, Jake John Hall. But. <laughs> shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the All fuck right. up. I'm not, you know what, guys? Okay, can I, I just, you know. If we're I, picking okay, old men. You, your I, opinion is done. Your opinion is done. I'm going to do my but opinion now. It ended up being a good movie. Okay, that's okay, great. Let's, can, was, I, can I tell you my opinion about it? Like my genuine opinion about it? You know what? As this, a what, hap- what? what happened, you know right, what? What happened no? right here? You know what? What? I was gonna say no. Save it for the paywall. Guys, you can check out the rest of this episode on Patreon. It is up right now. Go ahead and subscribe. We're going to continue this conversation on there. I'm going to probably fight Capri with my actual bare fist. And I'm going to show my feet. Yeah. But this is the end of our YouTube prog- 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 like, podcast. Like, subscribe. And like, and subscribe. All right. All right. And uh, we end it the same way we always end it. Oh with a little Lord. song. Oh Hello. I'm not doing that. No, we don't, we don't even have an end. We just cut to it. Dude, but I kind of... Like I know what I know what happens, but like I kind of wanted to see it. Is that bad? What do you mean you kind of want to see? Like it? I don't know. Like there wasn't like a single Japanese person in that movie, and I like kind of wanted.
Oh, you wanted to see the bomb go I want, off? I wanted to just like see the whole... Like the, the, the actual like the devastation? I, yeah. Is that bad? Is that fucked no, up? No, I think that it needs you to be. You think it's fucked up. 